Welcome back to our channel. My name is Hegyeong and this is Jolie. Two years ago, we quit our jobs and left our home in South Korea to do one of the things we like the most, to travel. We have been backpacking for the past two years and we still didn't get tired. Maybe it's because instead of rushing to sightseeing spot, we prefer to travel slow, stay as long as we can in a place and learn how life is there. Rather than as visitors, we prefer to experience new places as locals. We don't plan much ahead and we're always welcoming new opportunities. One of these opportunities was spending a few weeks in a city that we always wanted to visit. Well, not just visiting, but to experience the daily life. Welcome to our new series. We're the Lifetime Travel Mates and this is living in Singapore for one month. Singapore is an island city-state in Southeast Asia. Although its history goes back some thousands of years, modern Singapore was founded only 200 years ago. After some decades being occupied and colonized, it gained independence from the British Empire by joining Malaysia along with Sabah and Sarawak. Singapore became fully independent in 1965 and since then it developed rapidly as an Asian tiger economy based on external trade and workforce. Singapore has ranked the most expensive city to live in since 2013. It is a tax haven and it ranks high in key social indicators like education, healthcare, quality of life, personal safety and housing. Singaporeans have the strongest passport in the world, having visa-free or visa-on-arrival access to 189 countries. If you have never been in Singapore, we are sure that this video will raise your interest in visiting. If you already visited Singapore, chances are that you stayed just for a few days. In that case, stick around because we're going to show you enough reasons to go again. If you live in Singapore or you are a Singaporean, well, you know what we are talking about. But there might be some things that even locals don't know about their city, right? On this episode, we will do a first approach to the city, and since we care about your budget, we are going to show you 5 things to do for free in Singapore. Number 1. Changi Airport, or Jewel, or Jewel Changi. This nature-themed entertainment and retail complex on the Changi Airport is the link to three passenger terminals. The center is the Rain Vortex, the tallest indoor waterfall in the world. Jewel includes gardens, attractions, a hotel, aviation facilities, and more than 300 shops and restaurants. Exploring the five floors above the ground and five basement levels might take enough time to entertain you for a day. visitors in just six months since opening, exceeding the initial target for the whole first year. that require to buy a ticket, but the main Shiseido Forest Valley is free to access. One of the things that surprised us the most was that there's even a big supermarket here in the airport. Check this. Video is 
is about three things. So let's move to number two, the bicentennial experience. Located in the Fort Canning Center, the bicentennial experience is a free event, but keep in mind that you have to book a time slot in advance on their website. The experience is a journey through time to witness key moments in Singapore's transformation from its early days to the futuristic city that we see today. The show, described as a multimedia sensory experience, features two different areas. The Time Traveler, where the audience can experience through 5X the beginnings of Singapore, the arrival of the British and transformation into a colonial port, the evolution to connected and bustling metropolis, the occupation period, and last one, Destiny. The Pathfinder, an outdoor interactive exhibition, shows a collection of artifacts, maps, flora and timelines to go deeper into the 700 years of old history of Singapore. Number 3. Botanic Gardens of Singapore Located just a few stops away from downtown, Although Singapore has plenty of parks and treetop walks, the Singapore Botanic Gardens are one of the oldest parks in the city. It is home to 10,000 species of plants and has one of the best orchid research and breeding facility centers in the world. The park offers plenty of paths to walk and to admire not only the flora but also the jungle animals like the harmless monitor lizard or the hundreds of birds. In the Botanic Garden, you can often find events like workshops, guided tours in different languages, pet gatherings, art exhibitions, and live music concerts. And if you like music, you're going to love… Number 4. Esplanade, Theatres on the Bay This huge culture and art center holds not only modern and traditional music performances, but also art and design exhibitions, theater plays, musicals, and workshops. Check out their website for their free programs and shows and timetables. Supporting the Singaporean culture and art scene for more than 16 years, Esplanade offers things for all ages. With six performance venues and six art spaces, Esplanade is one of the busiest art centers in the world. Its location on the bay offers stunning views of the city skyline and the marina. And since we are on the bay, that brings us to number 5, Gardens by the Bay. This more than 100 hectares of reclaimed land is the most iconic landmark of Singapore. Gardens by the Bay is part of the nation's plans to transform its garden city to a city in a garden, with the aim of raising the quality of life by enhancing greenery and flora in the city. The park consists of three waterfront gardens. The Bay Central Garden is the link between the South and the East Gardens, with a waterfront promenade that locals and visitors use as a walking and exercise area. Bay East is the second largest garden and offers a big quiet area away from bustling streets with stunning views of the Singapore skyline. Bay South is the largest of the three gardens. More than 15 million visitors since it opened to the public enjoyed not only the flora but also the festivals, music concerts, movie screenings, sports and community events, workshops and school programs. The 
impressive attraction of the gardens by the bay is the popular super tree grove. These unique giant structures are the new symbol of the city. The super trees are made of concrete and steel with vertical panels that feed more than 700 species of plants and flowers. The largest one is 50 meters tall and there's a bridge that connects some of the trees and offers some incredible views of the city. Everything in the gardens by the bay is free. Check out the official website to see what's free and what requires a ticket. However, the best thing there is free. The Garden Rhapsody is a light and music show happening every night at 7.45 and 8.45. We recommend you to be there a bit earlier so you find a good spot to see the show since it can get really crowded. Thanks for watching. If you like this episode, help us and click the like button and subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell so you won't miss any episode. Leave a comment with your opinion, questions, ideas, whatever you want. You can also support this channel buying Lifetime Troublemates merchandising. You can find a big variety of products designed by ourselves and inspired by our travel stories. Make sure you check the link on the description. And if you like the music on this episode, we use Epidemic Sound for all our videos. It's an amazing tool for video creators to find the right soundtrack, background music and sound effects. You can get 30 days free trial following the link on the description down below. Again, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. One thing nobody tells you is the amount of mosquitoes here in the garden by the way. Very beautiful and whatever, but mosquitoes are biting my legs. Nobody tells you that. So come with a mosquito repellent because your legs or your arms or whatever your body is going to suffer. You've been warned.